I think we are in a really fortunate position. Uh, we can have such diversity and uh, people that we meet, patients, um, consumers, undergraduate students, um, all have something to bring um, to my world and basically the job that I do. And um, I love the uh, engagement and passion that it brings. Uh, I think uh, in what I do, I always set out to be a people's person uh, and that there is always a positive in the relationship, uh, whether it be in patient care, um, whether it be uh, talking to prospective students uh, about becoming nurses uh, or um, supervising in the clinical uh, arena. Um, I think uh, no matter how bleak and dire um, situations are, and especially in my career, um, I've had lots of opportunities where um, positive doors have opened. I agree that there are situations where um, you do feel like you are climbing the wall uh, and you can't quite uh, get to the top uh, and that um, some days go from bad to worse and uh, what's the point of it all? Um, but there are little glimmers of hope. Uh, for example, I had um, quite a long um, period in orthopaedics and seeing people who you'd never think walk again uh, getting up was really quite brilliant. Um, I guess too, in some earlier comments when I said that nursing and allied health is such a uh, diverse um, uh, career that I had an opportunity some years ago to do some in-service in, in a ward environment and walked away feeling really proud and positive with the information that I'd shared. And I guess that stems now to where I am as currently as an academic. Um, so whilst I think um, there are people who remain in clinical arenas, um, there are opportunities um, to change. And I still think whilst maybe you're not at the bedside providing direct care, um, you um, have the opportunity to influence for greater good. We do have what I would call some very special individuals uh, who can remain at the coalface, if you like, uh, and um, want to be at the bedside uh, and have that absolute joy, uh, no matter how tough the situation is. Um, I did find that in the um, middle stages of my career to be a big challenge to me and by looking at having an educative role as well as a clinical role provides me with a really great balance. It provides me with a terrific incentive um, to be able to know what is out there and then subsequently teach it. And that's why I feel um, 20 plus years in uh, that I still have the desire and the motivation to be part of this workforce. As you gain more experience and exposure to things, opportunities present themselves. And, and look, I think within all careers, um, there is an opportunity to become uncomfortable for a while, try something new, and um, you never know, you may, you may enjoy it. And that's certainly what I've found. I'm in my early 40s. Uh, I am a firm believer of lifelong learning. Uh, I am currently doing another postgraduate degree. And certainly, if people are in professional situations that are not to their liking, um, I would implore them to encourage opportunities that are out there, opportunities that they may not know. I also believe that um, employers are moving towards getting the best out of employees. So there may be opportunities for people to negotiate. Um, you know, how can I improve myself? What are the mechanis mechanisms to facilitate that? I certainly believe that any study or certificates or qualifications in any form is never wasted. And while it may not be pertinent to one's current role, it can usually be put to good use in the future.